Good morning, class. Welcome to the last English lesson for the year. Are you excited? This is the last class, yeah? We are still looking at what's the matter. Okay, kids. Now, go and take your Get Smart for workbook. And turn to page 86. Okay, workbook page 86. Look at number one. Look and complete the crossword. Okay, we have learned about all these illness or ache from the previous lesson. We have like headache. Toothache, stomach ache. So you have learned this before. Now you need to complete the crossword with the words. For number two of workbook page 86, look at the picture and answer the questions. How many people are in the picture? We have Terry, Diane, Susan, Claire, and Jack with his mom. Okay, there are four questions. Let us look at question one. Question number one. What's the matter with Perry? Okay, we look at Perry. Where is Perry's egg? Where is he holding? He's holding his head. So, what's the matter with Perry? Yes, you can write, he has headache. Headache. Let's look at question number two. What's the matter with Jack? Let us look. Which one is Jack? This is Jack. Is Jack a boy or a girl? He's a boy. So you use he. You write he has. What does he has? Okay, what's he doing? Coughing. So you can write he has a cough. For question three and four, you have to complete it on your own. Remember to see whether it's a boy or a girl. Use the appropriate sentence. He has, she has, or they have and identify what's the ache okay so he has what or she has what complete question three and four on your own 
Now let's take a look at workbook page at the seven. Number one, look and write. Okay, you see there you are given six words. The first one is cast. This is a cast. So if you fell down and broke something like broke your bone, then you need a cast. There's the word hurt. So hurt so sang chadara. The third one is broke. Broke is the past tense of break. Okay, pecahkan benda. Lung po tung si. Hai se yu tung si po tiao. Next one, bleeding. Okay, when there's blood coming out, then you are bleeding. The fifth one, plaster. I'm sure you know what is a plaster. This is a plaster. Last one is fever. Fever is when you are very hot. Then you have a fever. So, what should you do with all these six words? Okay. You fill it in the blank. Anna is wearing a what? Because she her arm. Greg has got a Sandy fell down in the park and what her leg? It's it's what you see? Blood coming out is she needs a what's that? Complete this paragraph using the words that are given. Now we'll take a look at number two. What should they do? Look and write. You see, you are given five verbs here. Okay, let's take a look at example in number one. Number one. Mandy has got toothache. She to the dentist. Okay. The suitable verb for this is go. You cannot write. She go to the dentist. Because the question asks what should they do? What should they do? So the answer is she, you add, should go to the dentist. Number two. Steve has got a headache. He to the bed. Which five verbs above is suitable for question number two? To bed. So we can use go to bed. 
Remember, we need to add should. So, the answer is he should go to bed. For the remaining question 3, 4, 5 and 6, you complete it on your own. Remember, it's number 2 workbook, page 87. Now, we look at workbook page 88. Number 1. Ain, Nur, Afi, and Azim are at home alone. They aren't following the safety rules. Look at the picture and complete. You are given this picture. You see, there's Ain, Nur, Afi, and Azim. And five words. The first is matches. Manchisa Huo Tai. Number two, knife. Tao Pisao. Three, stairs. Low tea. Tanga. Fourth one is socket. Socket is where you plug. Ah, the one that you use to plug the electricity. And the fifth one is running. Look at this paragraph. Nur is in the kitchen. She's using a to cut some cake. Afik is down the. Ain is in the living room with Azim. She's playing with. Azim wants to watch TV. He's Playing with the. Okay, so these are the things that you should not be doing at home because they are very dangerous. You can hurt yourself or you might die. Remember to complete this in your workbook. We look at number two. Look at the picture again. What should or shouldn't they do? Should yala patut ingkai shouldn't Tidak patut pung ingkai. You need to construct four sentences from the picture. Let me give you an example. Number one is about Nur. Let's see what is Nur doing. We read in the previous paragraph, the passage, saying that Noor is cutting the cake using a knife. So, the question is, what should or shouldn't they do? You can write, Noor shouldn't use a knife to cut the cake.
or you can write Nur should ask her mother to cut the cake. I'll give you another example. Let's look at Azim. What is Azim doing? He's playing with the socket. Should or shouldn't? Yes, Azim shouldn't play with the socket. Okay, for Afik and Ain's sentences, you need to construct them on your own. Use should or shouldn't. Number three, look and write should or shouldn't. Number one, touch. More pegang. Hope. This is a hope where you can cook. So a hope is usually very hot. We construct the sentence Jenny should or shouldn't touch. Yes, Jenny shouldn't touch the hope. For this exercise, it's very easy, right? Okay, so number two and number three, please complete it on your own. Remember, you need to consider whether it's using should, patut, ingkai, or shouldn't, tidak patut, bu ingkai. Workbook page 89. Number one. Listen and write the names. Here you are given a picture with five blanks. A, B, C, D, E. And you are given five names. Kira, Craig, Sherry, Alice, Matt. Listen to the following audio and fill in the blanks with the correct name. Number one. Kira is sitting near the fire while building a sandcastle. Number two. Craig runs around the beach with burning mesh sticks on his hands. Number three, Sherry runs toward the sea full of jellyfish. Number four, Alice is picking all the seashells at the beach to bring home. Number five, Matt is cutting an apple with a sharp knife. Number six, 
Once you have listened to the audio just now, fill in the boxes with the correct name. For number two, you need to answer the following questions. What shouldn't Craig do? You look at Craig. Is it a he or she? A boy or a girl? Craig is a boy, so you use he. The question asks you should or shouldn't. So if the question asks you shouldn't, you write shouldn't. He shouldn't what? The answer is he shouldn't play with burning matches. Let's take a look at another question. What shouldn't Alice do? Alice is a boy or a girl. Alice is a girl. So a girl you use she. The question asks should or shouldn't? The question asks shouldn't. So you write shouldn't. She shouldn't what? She shouldn't pick all the seashells at the beach to bring home. Now you have three more questions in the workbook. Complete it on your own. Workbook page 89. Number 3. Read and answer the questions. Okay, to answer all the questions in this section, you have to say yes, he should, or yes, she should, no, he shouldn't, no, she shouldn't. Okay, depending on the person you are referring to. Let's take a look at number one. Mary is riding her bike. Should she wear a helmet? This is a helmet. So, Mary is riding her bike. The main point is riding her bike. Wear a helmet. When you ride a bike, should you wear a helmet? So, your answer would be Yes, she should. Mary is a girl, so we use she. Yes, she should. Look at number two. The hope is hot. Remember the hope we have learned just now? This is a hope. It's hot. Should I touch it? When a person asks you, should I touch it? You answer. How should you answer? You don't say, yes, I should. You say, you, because the person is saying, I. So you point to the person, it's you. So when a hop is hot, can you touch it? The answer is, 
No. No, you shouldn't. Okay, for number three, four and five, answer it properly and look at the person, yeah? So if it's a girl, you use she, a boy, you use he, more than one person, you use they. Okay, if this person is asking I, you say you. Or if the person is saying you, the answer should be with an I. Workbook, page 90. Number one, read and match. So, on the left side, you have five sentences. And on the right side, you have another five. Let's look at number one. Anita ate too many sweets. Sweets are candies, yeah? So, if you eat too much sweets, what would happen to you? A. He's got a cast. B. She's got toothache. C. He's got sunburn. D. She's got earache. O. E. They've got a stomach ache. So, when you eat too many sweets, you get Yes, you get toothache. So, you have to match number one with B. She's got toothache. You continue on to do number two, three, four, and five. Okay, I've given you some pictures here to help you to understand the sentences better. Workbook, page 90. Two, what should Alia and Pete do to feel better? Read about their problems and give them a voice. I have got a headache and my head is warm, but my friend is having a party and I want to go. What should I do? Okay, Alia has got a headache. Her head is warm, but her friend is having a party. Alia shouldn't go to the party. She... Do you notice that there is a box given with phrases. Find three phrases that are suitable to this situation. Go to the party. Go to bed. Take some medicine. Put on a plaster. Play baseball, listen to music, clean the cart. There are three suitable phrases. The first one has been used, go to the party. Alia shouldn't go to the party. Next, she has got a headache. So, she should go to bed and she should take some medicine. To construct the passage, you write, Alia shouldn't go to the party. She should take some 
medicine and go to bed. You do not write go to bed and take some medicine. Bukannya tidur dulu baru ambil ubat. Ambil ubat dahulu baru pergi tidur. Busi sui zao lai ci yao. Ni yao jiao ta qi ci yao xian na, ran hou cai sui jiao. We look at Pete's situation. I cut my leg. It's bleeding and it hurts. My friends want to play baseball now. What should I do? Remember the box below? This box. Okay. Choose three phrases that you can use. For the answer, the answer should start like this. Pete shouldn't what? He should what and what? Using the three phrases that you have chosen, write the answer. Workbook. Page 92, 1. Read and write. Here you are given add statements. You need to find the answer. I have given you the answers that you can select and also the clues as line in red below. Complete this in your workbook, page 92. Number two, read, look at the prompts and write sentences. Use should or shouldn't. Should Patut, ingkai, shouldn't, tidak patut, bu ingkai. Here, you are given six sets of exercise. Okay, for each set, you have two phrases. You look at number one, Tom has got a bad cough. Eat ice cream, have some soup. So one is should, one is shouldn't. So you when you have a bad call, <coughs> you shouldn't eat ice cream. Okay, then for Tom, he should have some soup. Do the same for question two, two, six in your workbook. That is all for the last class of this year. Students, please make sure you complete all your work. Take a picture for each page and submit it in your Google Classroom. I'll see you again next year. Goodbye!